Hey guys, it's Ashley with The Haircut Box. Thank you so much for watching our channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you such a good, easy, low maintenance, basic haircut on my little guy. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you wanna see more haircuts, tips, tricks, and tutorials. We have now cut Jet's hair six different ways since he had his long, shaggy haircut. And right now you can see that it is still cut in this cute, cute Eurohawk but we are a little bit over the Eurohawk and we wanna take these sides a little bit shorter. So we're going to give him a really good basic haircut. You ready to do this, bud? You ready? Give me a high five through the cake. There we go. Okay, if you've been around a while, you know that we've struggled with clippers. Do you wanna hold this? Yeah. I just want you to see how much better this has gotten. This is our trick. We let him hold that. Now I'm gonna use this one, remember, and we're gonna go right up here. So apparently we didn't want the cake and apparently we wanted the chair turned around. I'm gonna try to do the best I can do without any of my little reinforcements here helping me give him a haircut. I'm going to give him a really nice basic haircut. I like tree. Ready for this? You ready? Yeah. Hey. I'm gonna use a number one and I'm going to extend my blade so it's basically a one and a half. Don't spray the camera. <laughs> Are you gonna spray the camera? <laughs> Don't spray the camera. <laughs> Are you gonna spray it? Do you think that water bottle will spray that far? No. Jet, what? the back of your hair isn't long anymore. Oh, it's on my short. Oh, is it on your short? And on the snack. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at this. Oh, no more long back. Oh, so especially around the edges, it's hard to get when you're moving. <laughs> but I got the bulk of it done, and then I can always go back and perfect it. Okay, now that I've kind of got him doing something, now I'm going to move the lever down so it's a true one, and I'm just gonna go around the outsides. You gotta put your shoulder down and spray the camera. <laughs> the camera. Yeah, are you gonna spray the camera? Try to spray it. No, I can't. Why can't you? I I can't look. Good job, okay? So now we've done a one and a half and then just around the outside a one. This gets it all off your neck. Can you do that? So while he's working on that, I am going to work on this top part. So I'm going to do a middle section and create my guide right here. I'm going to brush that up. I'm going to take a little bit off and then match this whole guide to your first cut. Now see how I'm just moving with the hair? It's pretty unrealistic expectations if you are expecting your child to just stay still the entire time. So I'm going to move with him as moms we are actual experts at rolling with the punches with our kids. Haircuts are no different. Okay, so you can see that that middle section is all the same length. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to take little sections and match this to the Mohawk guide that I created for myself. If you know that the hair's texture shows cut marks, make sure you're taking tiny little sections on the way back. Now, if you are still seeing the cut marks, even after you take little sections, comb the hair the opposite way once you're done and even up those peaks and valleys. Okay, can you see that I am taking this middle mohawk section and matching this whole side to it. Now I'm going to pivot around and using this same guide right here all around the back. Now a lot of times people will miss the hair right here on the corners. They take this section and they forget to comb clear out here, grabbing all of that section. See how long that is? All of that would have been missed and it would have just hung weird right here. You wanna get off? How about you stand up? Can you stand up? Can you show me how you can stand up? Oh, do you think I can cut your hair? See how I'm keeping my fingers really nice and parallel to the floor? This? Yeah. Oh, okay, we'll put this down. Okay, see how I'm keeping my fingers really parallel? I'm not rounding them and I'm not angling them anyway. I'm just keeping them totally straight. 
You wanna get off. Wait, I need you to kneel down because guess what? Oh, now your hair looks really funny. Cut my yeah, you accidentally cut your bangs. Okay, can I show him how to cut your bangs? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to pull his hair forward. Now he accidentally took a little chunk out of his bangs right there. So now that we have the hair shorter, oh, now it's going to look oh, fine to match oh, his hair. He's got some long stragglers that I'm just going to cut and even up. This is a huge part. Take this section and comb it to the unicorn horn. Going to come out at this angle. See how there are some long stragglers right there. That's going to create a weird style in his hair. If I wouldn't take those off, then you're going to feel like you've got long horns coming down right here on the bangs. You do not want that. So you want to come all along the hairline, even clear up to the temples. There's a lot of long hairs and you just want to go straight up. Okay, there's his bangs. So cute. Now all we have left is the outline, which is honestly the worst part for this one. So I leave it to the very end and the blending. So I'm going to take my guard off my big clipper, comb this hair down. Look, you're not even gonna feel it. No! You're not even gonna feel it. Hey, what, can I have a fruit snack? No, yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, Look, I'm just gonna put the comb in. Look, tell me if you feel this. <laughs> tell me if you feel this. You feel it? No, it doesn't even hurt. See, I'm putting my comb in, I'm putting it straight up, and I'm going to take all of that excess hair off. See how that just took that shelf right away from that long hair? You wanna stand up? Well, guess what? I think you're too big to stand up during this part. I think you're too tall. Do you wanna get on your knees? So see how I'm putting that comb in? See all that excess hair? See how my comb is pointed straight up? It's not rounded to the head. I wanna put my comb straight up like that. Okay, I'll let that one slide right now. I'm gonna go straight up and then around this rooster tail. Now his kind of sticks up, so I'm going to... Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm gonna turn you around. So I'm gonna put my comb a few different directions. You always wanna put your comb in the opposite way the hair grows. That way you can actually get the hair that you need to cut. If you're combing with the hair, then the hair is just going to lay down. What color is your favorite? Mm, red. Red? Yeah. Red is your favorite? See, that hair goes this way. I'm gonna put my comb in this way. And take that hair. No. Guess what? That's a pretty good haircut. Okay, my blend isn't yeah. ideal. It's fine, but it's yeah. not ideal. There's a few more cut marks right here, so I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to just take my texturing shears. And this is going to have to work because He's done. I'm not sure I dare do this. Should we do this little? Oh, I love this. I'm actually not gonna do it. Should we do it? Should we do it tomorrow? We do any more? I'm not gonna do any more. Okay. All right. I found a bug. You can find a bug. Thank you so much for watching. I'm a professional, and sometimes toddler haircuts are tricky for me. So there's a lot of tips I can give you. Wait till you have reinforcements. Use your suckers, put on a show, do all the things that you know that they love to make them sit still. But more than that, give yourself a little bit of grace because it might not be perfect. And that's fine, he is still just as cute as ever. So good luck with that. I hope you guys keep trying. If you have a hard toddler, keep going, it will get better. This wasn't our best haircut, but compared to a year and a half ago, this is really amazing.